So welcome back to Biotech, Green My Generation. Today it's really about generation. We have a electricity producing unit here, which is a Strom generator in German words. This is about 15 kilowatts of power. So it's a really tiny small engine. We normally go for the bigger ones, for the commercial engines, which go up to 700 horsepower, 500 kilowatts. But it's also a good thing to have these small engines running on vegetable oils on sustainable fuels. What is special about this engine is that it is already stage 5 emission uh, specification. So it's a very clear exhaust. Um, this specification comes now into law in Germany in 2021. So we have a closer look now on the sockets and on the connectors we have. So basically it's all about a three-phase uh, electricity producing unit. In total we have these 15 kilowatts of power and we have different sockets which is 32 amps, which is 16 amps, which is a normal socket for just one phase connection. All this is uh, with uh, fuses. Um, and we have um, our main control unit, which is up there. I will turn on the lights. No worries, the engine won't start. We just have a look onto the display now. So today is the 16th of June, 21. Uh, the fuel level is 29%. This is the fuel left in the big tank. We will apply an additional tank later on for the vegetable oil, and this will get an additional filling level sensor and a fuel gauge, which will maybe be placed here or up there. We will decide these afterwards. Um, it is a pre-owned uh, pre uh, generator, which has done some work before. So it's uh, only 112 hours and 13 minutes of operation. So we can be sure that it has done a good job up to now. It looks quite well from outside. Um, and the total uh, energy which was produced is 70 kilowatt hours only. So let's have a closer look to the engine. It's a small engine. It's about 2.2 liters of displacement. It has four cylinders and it has a mechanical uh, injection pump down there. Then we have a main filter, we have a pre-filter, and we have a small plunger pump to get the fuel up to the main filter. Our task will be to change this and convert this engine uh, to the use of rapeseed oil. So we will have an additional manifold in place, which helps us to get access to the vegetable oil, to heat up the vegetable oil, to filter the oil, and so on and so on. Um, the idea would be to have this uh, manifold. It looks like this. It's a universal size of manifolds which can be used in 500 kilowatts also like this one with only 15 kilowatts. And we will get this manifold mounted somewhere here. It's a good idea to have it close to the original pipes and tubes uh, and filters. So we will sort out a, a bracket for here and we will keep it in that position approximately. Um, we need access to the filters for filter changing. We are now on the opposite side of the engine, which is called the hot side because we can see the exhaust pipe coming out here. Down here we have a battery and we have a main switch for the electrics. And this is the cap for the original tank which sits below the engine. Um, we need an additional tank for the uh, rapeseed oil or for the vegetable oil. It's not clear up to now what the customer really uh, wants to use. Uh, we are talking about loose cooking oils, which can be like a fat, can be a little bit stiffer. So he will for sure have a tank heating module inside the additional tank. And he needs good access to refuel the tank. So the idea is to place it somewhere here. It will go uh, to the back and it will be accessible, so he will get access to the original tank and he will get access to the uh, um, vegetable oil tank. Uh, let's see how we can sort this out, out in terms of making some holders and brackets, and we will show you afterwards. 
So now we are going to remove the original oil filter, the, the fuel oil filter, the original pump, and we will have to remove uh, the air intake because we want to have the additional tank uh, over there. And after that we will sort out everything and get brackets ready, get the manifold mounted, get the tubes. So we are done with the brackets now, we have the manifold in place mounted directly to the engine. We have a hand primer with an included filter here, which will help to get the diesel oil or the uh, light fuel up there. And this is again the uh, plunger pump, the electric pump, which will uh, pump the diesel fuel to the module. So now the next uh, step is to get all tubes sorted out. We have um, uh, the original tank down there, so the tube will go to the pump, the pump will go to the electric pump and the electric pump will feed into the manifold. We will have a return line back to the diesel pump uh, and then we will have the injection lines which go in and out of the module and we will connect it to the original uh, tubes which are already in place. So this one is the feeding line and this one is the return line. It will be, co be connected to the manifold as well. And we will try to get a little bit a smaller filter in order to reduce the volume which is going around to make it easy to flush the engine afterwards. So now we are about to install the heater into the tank for the additional fuel for the uh, vegetable oil. Uh, in this case it can be used cooking oil and the used cooking oil consists of some fatty ingredients which need a heating. So about 30-40 degrees centigrade in the tank can be helpful. Um, the tank heater is now sitting on the top of the tank. Um, it consists of these aluminum profiles where we send uh, the hot water through so the, the uh, profiles are kind of a radiator to heat up the, uh, the, uh, the tank. Um, you can see a sort of a strainer down there which is the intake of the fuel so the fuel has to pass there and all. So the next step is to install the tank into the uh, cabin of the engine. We have the tank heater in place now. The tank heater has four connections, two connections for the hot water and one in and one out for the fuel. And we, of course we have, uh, the, uh, have a, a good wide opening to get the fuel in. On the engine itself we have a support now which gives us the correct height, gives us enough, enough space to the engine and makes us possible to close the door. And when we have the tank installed, we can uh, install the air intake and the air filter, which needs to be moved by a few millimeters to the other side. 
So this is what we do next on that part here. So here we are, finally we have done all the tubes and installed the new filter. So the idea was to get the hot water from the engine down here to the filter. The filter is heated therefore, then the hot water goes down to the manifold and the manifold is heated as well. And we have a small filter here to keep the volume as uh, low as possible to make it easy for flushing the engine. Next step will be to connect the tank on the opposite side and here we have a very special uh, technology which is a coaxial tube system it consists of an outer tube and the inner tube in the outer tube we have the coolant water going around the inner tube and the inner tube uh, carries the fuel so it is basically shaped like a, like this it sits on top of here and you can see we have two connectors in one, so it is connected here and we will have the, the, the fuel in the sole in the inner tube and covered by hot water in the outer tube. It sits like this and can be rotated easily. We have a, an example for this which is cut out, so again we have an inner tube and an outer tube and a coaxial system for heating the fuel lines. So our coaxial tube is ready now. This is the side on the manifold, which has just the one bolt in and the banjo on top. And this is the side for the tank, where we go out with the water to the side and we have uh, the fuel in the middle tube. So we will prepare two of them one for the feeding line and one for the return line. So we are done with the engine and the tubes and we go over to the electrics now. This is the main electrics, the sockets, and this is where the ECU sits in. So we already have taken out the bolts and we can have a look inside. So this is about for the cable. This is the high voltage electric, this is more or less the low voltage electric. And we will bring in some more devices. One is our main ECU, which might fit somewhere here. The other one is uh, the telematics device which gives us the possibility to do remote access, remote control. And we have an operating console which looks like this. And this will be close to the original operating console. I think we will put it up here. Let's go. So we are done now with installations. We have these ECUs in place, we have the telematics in place, we have an operating uh, console in place. And now the generator is green. So next step is uh, topping up the alternative fuel. In our case, it will be rapeseed oil according to the D-norms 51605, which is a, a rapeseed oil which is raffinated and has a, a special quality suitable for used as a diesel substitute.
<laughs> so we start firing the engine, we need to uh, switch on, so we wait a moment, and then we go to start, see what happens. So now we restart the engine and we will put some load of one of the phases and see what happens. Let's go. Okay. 